Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an exponential, logarithmic, rational, whatever you want to call it, this type of weird expression. We have x to the power 1 over ln, which is the natural log, of 1 over x. So we're going to talk about the domain of this as a function. And then, uh, using that domain, we're going to try to find the value, or whatever that simplifies to. And then I'll show you a graph at the end, which I had to enrich a little bit because, unfortunately, Desmos doesn't give us everything that we need. But we'll talk about that later. I don't want to spoil the surprise. So how do you simplify something like this? So if you get something like, let's say, an equation like x to the power ln x, and I think we've done this video before. Was it 100? Something like this. You can basically ln both sides and you're going to find some numerical values if there are any solutions. But that's not the case here. We have an expression we're supposed to simplify. We don't know what it equals. We were trying to find what this expression equals under certain conditions. Am I making any sense? Hopefully I am. So we're not solving an equation here. First of all, I wanted to make that clear. Since it's not equal to something and we don't know what it is and we're trying to find it, we can set it equal to something. That's the power of substitution power of substitution. Pulse. I don't know if that term exists, but anyways, power of substitution. Substitution is very powerful. So let's use a variable. It doesn't matter. Let's use y and don't ask why. Now, next step would be obviously the same as solving an equation with logs, especially when you check the exponent, you see variables. You should definitely log both sides. So if I get something like x cubed equals 27, I mean, seriously, you don't need to log both sides because there are no variables in the exponent. You just take the cube root, right? And that's it. But here we don't have that scenario. Anyways, so let's go ahead and log both sides with natural log. So ln x to the power 1 over ln. By the way, can I write ln 1 over x as ln x to the power negative 1 and make it negative ln x? It's a little easier, simpler. So let's go ahead and do that. Notice that if you have the log of a reciprocal, it's just the opposite of the log of the number. So kind of like a rule. Anyways, uh, this is what we have. And this is equal to L and Y. Don't forget to log both sides. Sometimes I do, then you'll get the wrong answer for sure. And then this is an exponent and the log property says, hey, you can move this to the front and multiply ln x is just ln x. So we're going to have, and I don't like this, what is 1 over negative something? Let's just write it as negative 1 over ln x, negative 1 over ln x, times ln x. Do you see what I see? Equals ln y. Uh-oh, ln x cancels out. We end up with something super duper simple. Numerical value. Awesome. ln y equals negative 1. But wait a minute. We did not talk about the domain. So let's hold on to this for now and we'll get back to it. And let's talk about the domain. It's not too late. What is the domain of this function? Like, can, can x take any value? And the answer is no. It can't be any real number. For example, x can't be 0 because 1 over 0 is undefined. What else? So x can't be 0. x can't be... Can x be 1? It can't be 1 either because ln 1 is 0 and 1 over 0 is undefined again. So we want... The following. Let me go ahead and clear this area and I'm going to write down a couple of things about the domain. So we do want ln 1 over x. We don't want ln 1 over x to be 0. That means we don't want 1 over x to be 1, which means x does not equal 1. Okay, that's one of the conditions. Obviously, we don't want x to be 0 because x is in the denominator. You don't want that either. What else? Besides these, you also want ln 1 over x. Because we have the ln function, we also want 1 over x to be positive. So with the log functions, the argument, whatever you're ln'ing, must be greater than 0. It can't equal 0. ln 0 is undefined also, right? And you can look at the graph of ln x um, as x approaches 0 from the right, y approaches negative infinity. That's what I mean by undefined. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And... Um, this brings us to positive numbers. So when I say x is positive, I don't have to say x does not equal 0 because 0 is not positive. x must be positive and x must be different from 1. So sort of like the, the base of the log because the base has to be positive and different from 0. Different from 1, correction. 
Okay, under those conditions, we can go ahead and solve this problem. Remember, x is positive and x does not equal 1. Let's copy that here. Okay. What is y from here? If you do e to the power both sides, e to the power ln y is y, so y becomes e to the power negative 1, which you can write as 1 over e, but we're solving for x. What is x? What is the relationship between x and y? What did we call y? Wow, the whole thing. And we were trying to find it. So we were actually looking for y. So I, I wasn't looking for x. I don't care about x. As long as x is not violating any of the conditions, right? So this is what I was looking for. y equals 1 over e. And that's actually the answer. So let's go ahead and um, write this. x to the power 1 over ln 1 over x equals 1 over e if x is positive and different from 1. Make sense? I don't know if you can include that too as well, I think. Let me go ahead and show you a graph real quick and we'll finish up. But the answer is 1 over e. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. And the graph kind of shows you the same expression. So as a function, I graph this. I got a straight line. I got a horizontal line, which stays in the first quadrant, obviously, because x must be positive. But Desmos doesn't show open dots, so I had to include them. Uh, two points must be excluded x equals 0 and x equals 1. And we already talked about it. x must be positive and x must be different from 1. Therefore, we're excluding 0 and 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.